Hey guys, it's Kay Jones here, and I'm going to be doing a guide on the Shades of Morton minigame. So, the first uh, thing I highly recommend if you're doing this minigame is to go ahead and complete the Mortania Diaries. You don't have to do the Elite, but even up to the Hard Diary will help a lot because you can get the Berg de Rot Teleport. And it's nice because it's near Shades of Morton and it's near a bank. Uh, if you don't have those done, that's fine. You can use the minigame teleport, Shades of Morton. You do need to travel there at least once and do the minigame once before you can use the minigame teleport. And it takes 20 minutes to respond. So why do people do this minigame? One, it's a requirement to complete building the temple once uh, for the uh, Shades of Morton quest. And second of all, this is a really big thing for Iron Man because the Amulet of the Damned is received uh, from the chest from this minigame, which I will show you later. It's um, a rare chance to get it, and basically it's used for a master clue, and this is the only place Iron Man can get it. Another reason why it could be somebody could want to get it is because it enhances a Barrow set's power. So if you're wearing full Guthans, it has a special perk uh, if you're wearing the Amulet of Dam the Damned, and same with Derek's, and same with Carol's. If you're wearing the full set, you have a perk, and the Barrow's set is a little bit stronger. Next is the Fine Cloth, and the Fine Cloth basically is used to make the split bark chest and body, which we, we can find here in the mage section. Fireman, this is a component to make the split bark armor, and the body and the legs are required for an elite clue. So that's most likely why you'll see Iron Man here. And um, basically, those are the three main reasons. If I'm forgetting something, just feel free to put it in the comments. Some people like to do it for prayer and fire making XP, but honestly, I think that part of the game is dead content at this point. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so there's a lot of this stuff that I'm going to go over in this video. Um, basically, I highly, highly recommend having a good cash deck on you. 60k should be fine. The next thing I want to talk about is getting this flam tier bag you will get later in the minigame and it holds a bunch of resources. Next is this flam, flam tier bracelet. It will help you build the temple a lot faster and I highly recommend you make it. It's by using a jade, a silver bar, and a combat bracelet, and then our a bracelet mound and then enchanting it and that's how you will make a flam tier bracelet it basically helps you build things a lot faster in the middle game mini game and um, it just will be a lot quicker process and it's with a jade a silver and a bracelet mound and then just enchanting it so I'm gonna go ahead and teleport to bird to rot all right and you're gonna run north if you can use that shades of Morton teleport for the mini game and the first thing you want to do is make Serum 207s. If you don't know how to make those from the quest, then I will explain it. You need a, two vials of water, you need two terums, and you also need two ash. Now in the quest, basically, you search the, ch the shelf and the table, and it'll give you all these items. I don't think it will for me, because I've already completed the quest, but... Um, it'll give you a book. It's giving me nothing, because I've already done the quest. But if you search around, It'll give you a teramin herb and a vial water, and then like you can use ash on that, and that will make serum serums 2.07s, 207s, and that will be. See how this is an afflicted uh, NPC. When you make that serum 207, you'll be able to talk to them, and he will become alive. Now there is a permanent replacement. I don't, so the serum 208 is a permanent cure for the afflicted villager villages villagers. <laughs> sorry, excuse me. Uh, I think that's what I did. And in order to make it, you need to serum 207 on the sacred flame at the rebuilt temple. And so basically, once you make a serum 207, which is going to be the tarum tar, uh, in a vial of water, then you're going to use ashes on it. And then basically, if you go to the temple, which I'll show you in a bit, and you use it on the sacred flame, it will turn into a serum 208 and it will make this person permanently healthy. So go ahead and buy some olive oil because this is what we're going to make into sacred oil. And then go to the general store and buy a hammer. Um, you're also going to buy some timber beams and some limestone bricks and some swamp paste. Now, if you have this flame to your bag, you'll be able to hold a lot of these items. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to show you what you need. And having that bracelet is going to really help. As you can see, this temple is already being built. If you go to World 377, it's called the Shades of Morton World. And it'll help out a lot. So as you can see, I'm just building everything up here. 
and the, the bracelet is running down its charges. Uh, my resources that are 101% because I have a bunch of resources in my bag and in my inventory. Uh, so that's how it's being built so fast. You can also basically, what is it, kill these lore shades and these lore shades will give you Santicity. And the Santicity, how do I repair this wall? Oh my gosh, oh gosh. Okay, Santicity is what allows you to, you need 10% Santicity to be able to turn this olive oil into sacred oil. So that's extremely important, guys. You wanna go ahead, once this is all built and the centerpiece is built, you're gonna light it up with the tinderbox, use the olive oil on the flame, and in order to do that for each olive oil to turn into sacred oil, you need to have tan centicity. And that's up here, and I'm at 29% at the moment. So that just gives you a little idea. It also tells you the repair, repair state of the building. And as you can see, I'm slowly using my resources over time. Okay, and next we're just gonna continue to repair this and I want y'all to see the final piece. This guy is helping me out. It's also another Iron Man. Um, this is also another Iron Man. There's a lot of requirements for this. And then what we're gonna do is use this olive oil on this centerpiece once this is all built up. Like I said, that bracelet really helps things out. Okay. So we should be getting going on this. Okay, so that centerpiece is built up. We're going to light it and we're going to use that oil on it. Well, getting there. As you can see, I used it on the, the olive oil on the flame and it made it sacred oil. Now what we're going to do is teleport back to Berg de Rot. And I'm going to show you what you can do with this oil. I already have a ton of this oil in the bank because I just sat there and I pretty much just Oh my gosh, I collected hundreds of this stuff because as an Iron Man, it's going to take a lot of time to get that cloth, that fine cloth that I was speaking. So right now I only have 22 left, but for the sake of the video, basically you're going to take some logs out. The higher the level, the, lo the log, the better. For example, I'm going to take out two magics. And the reason why the higher the level, the log, the better is because you're more likely to get a key. And these are examples of the keys. So let's go ahead and we're using the olive oil or the sacred oil on the log and it becomes magic prior logs. Now this is dependent of course on your fire making and everything like that. I'm 99 fire making and so therefore the higher the log the better for me. Here's some youth prior logs that I'm going to use and I'm going to show you what I mean on getting a key. So one moment. Okay these acid remains are from the shades. Now it starts with levels, so it's very confusing to explain. In order to start at the first level, you're going to need some lore remains. In order to get lore remains, so make sure you have your prior pyre logs and your tinderbox. So there's going to be some shades around here. These are the level, the, the very first beginning shades. We'll find some. Let's see. There's got to be some shades around here, guys. See these like little lore shadows? Go ahead and kill one of these and pick up one of their remains. These are higher level remains because I'm on a different track than you guys are. But once you pick up those remains, you're going to use your pyre logs, pyre logs on the on this little funeral thing. Use the lower remains on it and then light it up. A little creature will pop out of it and such. And you're going to be getting a key or coins. If you're lucky, you'll get a key and that's what you want. Okay, there's a key, silver key, and I'm just gonna, you're just gonna continue doing this, and my biggest suggestion is to get a full inventory. The first key you should be getting is a bronze key. I'm getting a silver key because of the type of remains that I'm doing. If you're doing lower remains, like I recommended, it's like the first section of the, the beginning, uh, you're gonna get a bronze key. So I'm gonna do one more and then show y'all what to do next. Okay guys, so basically I'm finishing up this inventory for myself. You only need one bronze key. Only one, and the reason why is because you're going to want to get higher level remains like I am to get better keys. So the way these keys work is the lowest level key is brown, the next one is steel, and the next one after that is black, 
and then silver. So silver is the highest level tier key, which will open the best chest for you. Bronze is the lowest level key, and then iron, or so bronze, steel, black, and then silver. So silver is the best key you can get, but you're gonna have to be killing higher level shades. I'm gonna show you where you're gonna go to open these chests. Right now, only worry about having one bronze key. Now, it's up to you on how high level and keys you want to go because it's based off your combat level. Since I'm 118 combat, I'm able to get the highest level tier t t key because I'm able to kill the higher level shades. So right now, my best recommendation is to go to the bank, do what you can to get a, a good amount of food in your inventory, especially if you're a lower level Iron Man. If you're hardcore, be extremely careful because this is a dangerous location I'm going to take you to. You only need your one bronze key. I'm bringing the other keys for the sake of teaching. Uh, you do not, I will explain everything and how you get to the higher level keys. Okay, so you're going to enter this door. One more time, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the map. So, as I open the map up, you're going to see that there's Morton Town, there's going to be the temple here, and in this corner is the dungeon. So, go ahead and take your bracelet off, because I think it makes the shades attack you. I'm not very sure, actually. But, yeah. So, now we've entered the door. Notice how these doors are called solid bronze doors. So once you're in here and you have your solid brown key, go ahead and start killing these shades and getting their little remains. Take them back to the little, what is it, like the little coffin area where you light your pyre logs and go ahead and get, get a steel key. So you kill these to get the next remains, use it on your logs to get a steel key. And once you get a steel key, you can enter the next level. And the next level involves these these, I can't even pronounce this, real shadows, if you kill these and you use them on pyre logs out there where we just were, you'll get um, black keys. And once you get black keys, you're going to go south and then east, and you'll be able to enter the solid black door. Now, if you kill these shades, the Aston shades, you'll go ahead and if you light those with logs, you will get either silver or black keys. And that's what I was doing earlier. So for the sake of explaining the chest, I'll just go into a solid black door room. In order to enter these black doors, you do need a key, but it doesn't use up the key. So for example, each of these keys have different colors. This is a black crimson key. We've got a purple key. So let's just open the one with the purple chest. So I got a medium clue skull. That's actually kind of exciting. And you're going to get a lot of also junk with this. Black crimson key, crimson, so we're going to open up that, and you have to match the key color with um, the chest. Now, I do, I'm not going to use my last black key because I want to use that key to be able to get through the doors, if that makes sense. So don't use up all your keys. Make sure you have one of each key so you can get through the little maze. Lastly is the silver keys. I call them steel keys. They're not steel. They're silver. I keep messing that up. The steel keys are or the sil sorry, silver keys are what is going to be the highest level chest. That's where you're more likely going to get that amulet, amulet of the dead. And also you're going to be more likely to get cloth and things like that as an Iron Man. However, killing those level 100 shades are pretty tough. So if you're a lower level Iron Man, I would just stick to maybe the level 80s because they're pretty tough. They're not too easy. And plus, you won't be doing elite clues for a while as an iron, so don't worry too hard about knocking this all out like when you're a low combat level. So let's go ahead and go in one of these silver doors and open up some more chests. I'm just doing this so you can see what the loot is like. An iron two hands is actually pretty rare. Some more death runes. Getting cloth is actually pretty tricky. Uh, there's an amulet of the damned. I said dead, sorry. Amulet of the damned. Um, getting pretty lucky on that. I have had no problems getting that amulet. Another Amulet of the Damned. I don't even care about the Amulet of the Damned. Okay, so here I got some of that fine cloth, which is what I'm looking for, and I'm just continuing to open up these chests. That's why I had a lot of keys, guys. You need keys to be able to get through the door, but more importantly, to open the chest. So basically, that's how you get the resources in this mini game: is making sure you have one of each key in your inventory, killing the higher level shades in order to get higher level tier keys. And I hope this helped you guys 
out a lot. Um, make sure you take a look into those bracelets because they help you build a lot. In order to make that sacred oil, you need to have 10, 10 Santicity for each one, as I mentioned. And this mini game is a little bit confusing. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Basically, what I do is once I... Um, I'm pretty much done with this kind of stuff, but... I just get a full inventory of higher level remains. I teleport back to Bird to Rot. I get some of those sacred set like pyre logs or whatever. And basically I will um, go get the keys and do that. And I got my seven fine cloth. That's what I needed. It took me a while. It took me about like a hundred of these things to do. Um, but I finally got it, and it's cool because you can get clues from it, and I have so many amulets of the dams, I'm set. I hope this guide really helped. It's really hard to explain all of this type of stuff. If you haven't done the quest to enter Berg de Rot, my suggestion for a bank is to teleport to Castle Wars and then using the Shades of Morton home tele or games uh, teleport. Uh, so I thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more of my guides and my Iron Man videos, please feel welcome to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.